So we need to lift this guy here, that guy there, this guy here, and this guy there. Now when you remove these first two ones, the sound will still work just fine. But when you remove these two guys, the sound will cease to work until you bridge that. You can bridge this one, as we found out later, with a solder because there are no holes under it, so even if solder spills over there, it should be still a good connection. However, under this guy here, there's a hole right in the middle of here, and so if you put a solder here, it will short circuit stuff and it will not work anymore. So on this one, we'll use a little piece of metal uh, wire, which we could just use one of the leads to connect that. Um, if you do lift a pad when you're removing those guys, you can always trace stuff down to see where the stuff is connected. So for instance, let's say if you lift this side up on this guy here. I don't know if I'm getting that. Can you see that okay? Like, so if I connect this guy on the on the on this end of the I guess it's a capacitor or whatever it is. And then connect it to this next one. I know that's where the connection goes. Or if I connect this guy here and that one get guy there. I know those two guys are connected. So if this pad gets lifted, I could always just connect this guy directly to there. So tracing it on another board will help you find out where those guys go if you ever lift a pad. just kind of clean up these soldering points just in case we didn't lose the contact with stuff under it. Now we need to remove the other two guys. Again, I, I do this with one, but probably be better if we did it with two. close to lifting that pad so we'll have to check the contact on it but that's okay we can bridge it pretty easily so this is Maya's endorsed way so if you, if you do this if you do this you have to send a thank you note to Maya just so oh wow that's much easier thank you for doing that all right I'll just again spread the solder on each of these just to make sure that the pads are not gone need to start bridging this guy here so that ought to do it and then this guy here I just want to check because that pad almost got lifted uh, see if it's still connected so I'll, I'll touch this guy here and the next connection which goes to the next guy here should be fine. So the last step before we start putting the surfboard on is sorry is bending this other piece of wire. So it's this kind of a U-shaped thing that will actually connect like so. And ideally you want to have it upright like this because that will minimize any potential short circuiting on the side of the board. Okay so what I want to do is I want to Put some solder onto the little leads just so they can grab onto it more easily. Like so. Okay, so one side is set, the other one is in the right place. We just need to apply some solder on it. Should be it. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is this guy here.
once one is inside, it's a lot easier to position the rest of it. That should be it. Now we got it tested, and we have a board that produces much, much better sound. So the last step is to gunk this stuff up to give it some strength. So we're using a hot glue gun for that. Don't touch me. Try not to. <laughs> and the other channel as well. Now these do come already with some gunk on them, but we found out that that stuff doesn't hold so well, especially once you place it in a case and then stuff breaks, so that's no fun. The other part that's really weak is this part here, so we'll gunk it up as well. This is non-conductive, so you can be as messy as you want. Okay, we'll let it sit for a few moments and then we'll test it for one last time. come on immediately and then we connect it to the computer That's our left and our right and that should be it